And we're back. Uh, I've not finished exploring the entire thing, but apparently I stumbled upon a dog that wants to talk to me. So we are now gonna talk to the dog Murphy. Hey, wow! I was wondering where the awesome sweet boot smell was coming from. And here you are. Wow, this is great. Worf, I'm Murphy. Worf, I'm a dog. Uh, yeah. I'm Murphy, Jake's dog. Woof, woof. Wow, you smell great. Have you been rolling around on that things all day? Uh, that is a good smell for you. That's my favorite hobby too. Uh, tell me about yourself, boy. You know what, Miss Jake, Wolf. Sometimes he just sit there being awesome, and I give him this look like you smell great, and he give me this look like you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend, Wolf. I came here so I could smell Jake again, Wolf. He smells great. Woof. But whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jack at all. No. It's definitely no Jack Wolf. He was awesome. This dog is kind of um, easy-minded upon something that is, you know, we got the, the, the idea, but he's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> About your master's death, boy. If I ever find to kill Jack Wolf, the most awesome Jack who ever Jake. I'll... I'll... bark so much! Seriously, so much! You have no idea, Wolf. I gotta go now, boy. So, this dog seems to be, honestly... intention to tell us that this guy is not the Here victim. Here lies James, as usual. The filthy uh, and Jake, we are... Where are you? Oh, are you here, Jake? Jake! Here lies Kavanaugh. Yeah. He's trying to tell you that he smells great. Here lies yeah, Jake. I mean, please do not disturb. Please do not disturb. We're gonna disturb it, unfortunately. Here lies David, who ran Where from are you, Jake? You'll oh, never catch me alive. Me. But since we are apparently in the grave robin uh, business right now, uh, I'll save, and we're gonna use this spade that I think I have somewhere. Oh yeah, we have a spade. And uh, can I use it like this? No, I cannot use it like this. But fortunately, there is a wheel when I do this. Da -da -da, exploration. So we're not going to go for Jake's grave first. I'm dead. I'm glad. So, Braytek, we're fighting undead at the moment. And even the dog, uh, Barky, uh, Barky, Barky, what's his name? Murphy. Woof! Is going to help us. And I have only a uh, meager 66% and I don't want to eat the dog, so I'm going to move still one more time. Still 66% on there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And that was my action. Who is this? What the hell? Murphy! You friggin' bastard. You get Murphy. Dave, you son of a bitch! You don't go around killing Murphy. You're level three, I understand that, but still, Murphy's Murphy. You don't kill Murphy. Can I resurrect Murphy? Let's try that. As soon as I can. Not enough action points. How many action points? I need 10 action points. Ship. Okay. So you're gonna stay in melee, I say. And attack Dave. And attack Dave. While... Uh, I still need more points. I'm gonna attack this one time. Then I'm gonna save those five points plus the other I get. I could be more than happy to save his ass next turn. Or do I want to heal myself, honestly? Yeah, I'm not gonna attack, I'm just gonna heal myself. No, I heal Braytak, what a noob. How many action points is that? Too many. Am I gonna die? Possibly. So, dear dog of mine, you're gonna have to wait for being resurrected. 
You see, if I didn't heal... Oh, ship! If I didn't heal myself, I was gonna be murdered. Let's try and kill this guy. Yeah. Can I resurrect the dog now? Doggy dog. Let's try this out. Uh, in front of target! What is a teleport? Why is it saying teleport? Murphy. Rest in peace, darling. Oh, Murphy's dead. I feel so sad, Wolf. You were the best character in the game so far, Wolf. I'm so sorry. I feel like it was my fault, Wolf. What? How did you manage that? What? Get him dead. Well, I was digging in a grave. It was all legit business, you know, because, I mean, you're looking for whatever you might find inside a grave. Don't judge me. And all of a sudden, the good dog is freaking dead. Uh -huh. He was trying to protect me, I guess. I'm so sorry. I hope we're not gonna find another undead here. Yeah? yeah, no undead. Idiot. You don't kill him. You kinda need him, in some ways. I didn't mean to. <laughs> bomb pile. Uh, empty bomb pile. But there is yet one more grave to go through. Rest in peace, darling. Not a bomb pile. With nothing on. And now we're gonna go for the wannabe Jake grave. Here lies Jake. Please do not. I'm stop. so sorry, Jake. I killed your freaking dog. Or, well, he killed himself. What trickery is this? That's not Jake. It's a rotting sheep's corpse. It seems someone snatched Jake's body. All right. This is all kind of questions for the mortician. And I have too much to carry. What? Really? That is me on a full inventory? Apparently so. Okay. So what we're going to do here is give these to Breitabot... These to Breitabot. Rest in these peace, to Breitabot. And all the other weird ass stuff. Like, yeah, this more armor. And, 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 and. Uh, what else can I give to Breitabot? Two and axe, Breitabot. These. One of the vision poles. May the seven then I'm gonna sort. But yeah, th this. I'm so sorry, Murphy. You were awesome. Now, I'm gonna keep on going on with the exploration, and hopefully, I will not be murdering more awesome characters. See you later. So, this is another thing that happened while exploring. We got called by a chicken. I hope we're not gonna kill this chicken as well. Don't let the chicken escape! She's already on the menu for tonight! Isn't it a chicken destiny to be eaten? We should catch it and give it back to cook. Uh, I say a yeah, chicken has the right to live too. I'm a vegetarian, so... Yeah, he doesn't deserve the knife. <laughs> bok, bok, bok. <laughs> Why'd you let my chicken escape? We did because he's a friggin' chicken that deserves living. What kind of question is that? <laughs> so now we're gonna handle the, the chef. I suppose. <laughs> you let my chicken escape! <gasps> Looks like it's your lucky day, Jack. Now to tell the troops they're getting nothing but cornbread. Ah oh well, nothing important, nothing major. 
Let's see if we can talk to that chicken, though. These stores are for our legion troops. Ribelon's chicken finest right. workup might you find appetite serving the seven. Mm, I don't see any chicken. I don't see any chicken here. That was sloppier than that, uh, Yeah, that is Jack. Jack, can you can you, do you want to talk to me, Jack? Jack doesn't give a shit about me. I see how it is. I liberated the chicken and the chicken Sorry, gave me sir. nothing in return. So it's not even worth my time. What about stupid chicken? Attention! What is about this? face! To the barracks! March! Yeah, yeah, you go to the barracks. Uh, the right. Sloppier than Sicilian stew. Again. And back to exploring. And we reached the house of a beggar where I want to try something out. Here in a corner there is a rat. Yes? Woo yes, I can talk even to the rat. Squeak! I just got back from the realm of fairy. It was lovely. I should bought my winter boots. Good boy! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, so the rats can go to the fairy realm or something? Whatever. Well, that was precious. Can you spare a coin? No, I cannot spare a coin, sorry, not at the moment. Uh let's keep on going on with exploring. I record if anything important comes to mind. Or well comes to my face. No pun intended. Now, going on on our animal spree here, we are going to talk to a sheep. Let's see what she has to say. Bah! If you think black sheep are weird, try worship. Bye! Okay, that is an interesting point of view, sheep. Uh, there are worship apparently in this game, but it's a query aware of that. No! That's good to know. But I think we have another sheep over here. Why are you gonna tell me, little fella? What's this? Greetings. I found something. <sighs> I give milk, I give wool, and what I get in return? One way or another, they always try to fleece me. Especially that heavily. <laughs> She's out to get me. I know it! Bye! Well, he has issues. I give him that. But we have another suspicious mount. The herd here seems to have been freshly. Fertilize and uh, aerate it. Obviously, someone has taken great care to maintain this gravesite. Are you sure you won't disturb it? Well... <laughs> yes. That's right, let's get digging. Heartless and heartless. Yeah, we are sons of bitches. As you prepare to break the ground, you gaze at the beneath your feet once more. I say, fuck it, I'm going to take. I'm here for investigating and I'm going to do it. Still more one artless. Plunge your shovel into the art tag melody. Okay, did we find something though? We sure did! I say this calls for a reload. God damn. Okay. I'm glad I caught that on camera. And I'll see you when we find something more interesting while exploring this place. But now we know that the medical officer is not to be thrived with because the tombstone behind his house is actually an explosive hazard. Yay! Well, see you in a while. And here we are with an interesting piece of quest as well. As soon as you reach Greetings. in front of the inn where we had to go nonetheless for our investigation. There is this fella here, Mendes. This game does seem to have a little bit of a taste for the scammy and for the moral choice like, yes, this looks like totally a fraud, but are you gonna join nonetheless? <laughs> yeah, so, you there, a moment to you with your indulgence if you please, yeah, yeah. You are the souls hunter, aren't you not? <laughs> the hero of the world, the isolus about about. Yeah, uh, the talk of the town, the, the juice of grape or the grapevine, such a pleasure to me too, uh, delight. It's kind of a sketchy fellow, this one. What the hell is on his hands? 
And the scratch that. Uh, it's too much. Uh, it's so much de 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 delight. Uh, it's an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate. Uh, I'll put you here in the spot, and I'm going to tell you all about most intriguing opportunity indeed. And you are? Mendes at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what I used to be, and that is a man of medicine. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I saved life to be sure, but today I, I changed them. Yeah. A buy opportunity and measures, bro. Oh, it is not merely an opportunity. It is a once in a lifetime chance to become a better, to become the full extent of promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So. First of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? I do like adventure, yeah, in my profession, why not? Uh, quite right, quite right, yeah, yeah. Adventure is what we live for, yeah, yeah. So here, you and I share the same passion? I never doubt it for a moment. Uh, the, the, the thrill of walking uh, the unbeaten path, the rush of finding yourself in a goblin ambush, uh, knowing you prevail nonetheless. To bread, your line of work comes with such amazing recompense, am I right? Uh, the wage of a mere soldier. N now, between you and me, that, uh, tell them truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you would have more? Ah, uh, riches don't really interest me. No, me? Wealth is more vanity. Uh -huh. That is pretty about, of course. Oh, but I know you're just being bashful. I, I bet you are still hard to see you. You, you eyes water with joy when you discover yet another treasure during your travels. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, there is a life without variety. Sorry, what is life without variety? Uh, without spice? To be so Santa must be uh, fretfully generous sometimes, uh, am I right? Very. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those orders, investigate these, retrieve that, and at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots to be your own boss? Uh... Ah, go. Yeah, we want to join. Well spoken. Well said indeed. Life is too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. Yeah, 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 I am. <laughs> and I could help you attain in the dream. Uh, an act to change you deserve. And that is exactly why I'm here. The way fate has pulled me right to the door of King Trap. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is inside the fabulous fight. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Okay, so tell me about the Fabulous Five. Oh, the Fabulous Five! I would enjoy simply seeing the words that describe the most uh, is lustrous and celebrated adventurous guild in Rivalon. Our mission is to better the world. Our mantra to better ourselves as we do so, to realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. You'd like nothing more than to a list, wouldn't you? Of course you do. And you can. Of course you can. If you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if you're not, how about we get started? What we actually do? What a gem of a question! Straight as an arrow, sharp as a switchblade, most meritorious of you. Yeah, yeah. Now then, did it? he didn't tell me shit! <laughs> you see, he's a fucking scam, he's a fraud! <laughs> to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship, to join a fraternity, a sorority, a community. The title of knight is bestowed upon you the moment you sign a waiver, and so it all begins. I have to sign shit as well, yeah. I shall be the one to give you your first contracts, and once it is done, I shall see you that you get your fair share of the reward. Of course, should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel, Propagate the gospel of the Fabulous Five, and thereby draw the new knight into a fellowship, you will get a share of reward from the contracts too. Uh, yeah, he's a pyramidal scam. <laughs> <laughs> but now the genial glow of the fellowship must have worn, warmed to the heart. Yeah, the, whatever. It does, hasn't it? But did I say fellowship? I mean family! For, for, for like family, we support one another, cheer another, uh, and see each other through the thick and thin. Uh, partake in glory and defeat. War card, filthy contracts, enlist new knights, and uh, swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself, and you will better Rivalon. You will make the stars shine and brighter, and you'll get fabulously wealthy and prosperous. Oh, what's not like? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. Fuck it. It's a scam, but it might be more quests, so let's enlist. Of course, of course, of course. All you need to do is sign the waiver and just like the stop. The part of the family and all these lovely autographs and what do you say? Uh, yeah, that's uh, whatever. Uh, you want money, we give you money, but in the end, it's us we're talking about. We better the word. Maybe. Uh, 
whatever, we're joining. And me! Maybe all the ridges in the world be ours! Marvelous, magnificent! Oh, but what am I saying? Fabulous is the word! Uh, minor rise yet, but your fortunes! Your very life is about to change for the better, uh, so let us not deal it alley. To business, your first assignment is ready, and waiting for you, <laughs> ready, and will it? Uh, but my assignment? It's a pretty straightforward task, this one. Yes, 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 yes. Now, this town dwells a wizard. Aru, his name, and his frightful eccentric. Scientific type, you know, the kind. Uh, favors reason over fate, and all of that. No fabulous fine material in him. No, 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 no. His experimental weapons might keep a couple of skeletons away from the city, but many of his other's research failed, but function with tragic consequences. One of them was a big lumbering apparatus, a frightening automaton ship like a giant made of steel. It was su supposed to crash the undead, but it doesn't. Piloted as it was by a trained legionnaire. But you can guess what happened. Did it become sentient? Mm, was it cursed? Whatever the cause, the thing relieved itself of its pilot and headed what? Headed north towards the network caves. Now ask yourself, what if it comes back? It could smash the city walls and claim a hundred lives before being subdued. So now we're gonna fucking destroy a robot. Okay. Luckily, there are those in this world who belong to Fabulous Five that praise to eat such monstrosities for breakfast. Go, my friend, find this wizard abomination and claim your just reward from Mayor Cecil. And the name of our agreeable blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Uh, I'll take my leave. Farewell. Okay, so what have we discovered today? Um, going into the map, you might see... Uh, yeah, we entered this one as well. You discovered the new place as soon as you step into it. So now I know that this is the King Crab Inn. We knew it already before. But you might see that my map is almost completely discovered. Uh, we have the Mortician's yes, more gear, and of course we're going to go to the Mortician because of that earth. thing, that tragic happening that we had to deal with with the dog. Sorry, sorry, dear dog, you will always be in my heart, in my heart of hearts. You were the best, you were the greatest, and you are the smartest dog ever. We always keep you, you know, in a special place. Me and Breda, right? Yeah, I know. We had discovered there is a clinic here, the place where we were blew up, you know, blown up like a friggin' balloon by the bomb. And Esmeralda's shop, I think Esmeralda's is the uh, dear Jake's wife. Then we have the town hall where Jake's worked, and we have the cook's house, and we have the place where we had to go and talk to Horus. So, one thing that we didn't see on camera, and I did, uh, sorry about that. Is uh, Mr. Braytak now having his weapon open because we went to uh, Whetstone and uh, you know there is a place exactly over here I think it is Let's see. where you can sharpen cheese, your weapons. Tomatoes. So yeah, it's very interesting. I pretty much sharpened everything that I could. Unfortunately, you cannot sharpen bows, but whatever. So a level one weapon now deals 26, 39 damage. That is great, and I have to free my inventory. So next time we see each other, I will have a little bit more space in my inventory. We'll be in front of the uh, illustrious uh, Captain of the Guard uh, place, ready to talk to him about all of this. The and then I think the plan goes for the Morticians more before going to the Captain. I like to go there already with a little bit of uh, an idea about all this, you Let's know. See. I don't go for the cheese guy cheese. first. Yeah, Tomatoes. probably we're going to go to the Morticians and uh, have a chat with him as well. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time. And yes, we have been scammed in joining in a freaking freaking <laughs> deal, whatever that was. Goodbye, guys. Bye!